let us pray almighty god we ask your blessings we ask your graces to enlighten our minds and intellect thereby we will learn all the lessons very well by the grace we will develop we will grow to a blooming personality in this year we ask this graces to you o lord amen a very good morning to all of you have you for <laughs> have you forgotten the voice i hope studies are going on very well okay now i was planning to call a meeting in between but because of a uh, connectivity problem on that day i could not anyway i will call you one evening okay other than the class i will call you in these days i will call you one evening and i will inform you and we will have some discussion we will have some i want to tell you certain things personally okay so today and uh, your some of the periods are increased now so bear with and uh, we have to come to plus 2 in an early date so that some more arrangements will be done in the coming days okay so we are with birth the last class we had seen that dr andrew was in a dilemma he was in a dilemma whom shall i say either the wife, uh, lady mother or the baby ultimately ultimately dr andrew had his choice he had given the promise to the lady not to the child he promised the lady that he, there is no problem he is present and he would save so he took the decision to turn to the lady and very fast he gave her injection and found that she was recovering there we were there so it took him only an instant page number 67 the large paragraph at the bottom instant to smash a glass ampule ampule that is injection bottle small one and inject the medicine then he flung down the hypodermic syringe and worked unsparingly to restore the flaccid woman so hypodermic syringe i need not tell you people dermic means about skin hypo the le upper level of the skin so he gave the injection to the just top of the layer of the skin below clear now so there are certain injections giving directly to veins glucose is given through the veins and through when we uh, um, they give glucose through that syringe they give injection that is iv indra veena venous through the vein iv and there are certain injections which we get on the muscle they give on the muscle or here straight that is im into the muscle the nurse would say lie down there and show the buttock and they will give you otherwise they will give you here that is im intra muscle then there are 
hyperdermic, uh, that means on the skin. They would give on the skin. So Dr. Andrew gave hyper, hypodermic injection to restore, I would say, restore. The pronunciation is restore. But in order to understand the meaning, I would say restore. Whenever we, whenever we want to give the meaning to repeat, to repeat, that means re, restore, store again, return, turn again to the place, remake, make again. So there are certain such kind of such kind of uh, uh, terms, such kind of words. When we add the prefix re, we get the meaning again. We get the meaning again. So restore. Doctor wanted to store again. What? Store again life into the flaccid woman. Life into the flaccid woman. Flaccid means weak, very weak. When the life is not there, it is flaccid. Please attend to me. I what did I say? If the life is not there, it is called flaccid. Nandana, if I say, if the life is not there, what it would be there? What will you call? Lifeless. Eh? Lifeless. Oh. Give me the meaning. If the life is not there, he wanted to restore. There is no much, but you have to understand how it is there. To restore life into it, into the flaccid woman. I told flaccid means life is not there. Annette, what do you mean by this? When the life is not there, what will you call it? Dead. Dead. Ah, that is simple meaning. Simple meaning. So he wanted to store. He wanted to store life into the dead woman. Clear now? So it is very easy. At home, if anybody is dead, we can give a hypodermic injection and he will become alive. <laughs> you see, <laughs> very easy methods. No need of mortuary, Punya. No need of mortuary. If anybody is dead, you take a hypodermic syringe achoos, and give an injection and the dead person will be alive. The book says like that. Ah. But here, the here, the me, <laughs> understood. The here, this is what is called literature. This is what is called literature. I want to show how, how depth a word in literature. Aryan, do you understand? I want to show how can we use a word in literature in multi-purpose way. This is what is called connotation and denotation. I want to show all these meanings here. This is what is called connotation and denotation. All the subjects except language. You need only denotation. All the subjects ex except language, you need only denotation. If you use connotation in chemistry and physics, what will happen? <laughs> answer will be something other than the real answer. Oh, when uh, Dixon Miss was teaching us, we thought uh, that uh, that principle, Newton's third law of 
Uh, when she was teaching, I thought like this. And if you write the connotation, you will be big zero. In accountancy students, uh, when I was uh, thinking about the multinational companies, uh, debits, credits, accounts, the trial balance and all these things, I was thinking that company should get a higher profit in the next year. So I thought, I made a connotation. Answer will be <laughs> zero. Only in literature, you should understand the connotation. Then only you will be able to understand the literature. That is why I told you literature is life related. Literature is life related. Here it is told only what sentence we are studying now. To restore life into the flaccid woman. Here you see contradiction. Restore life. If you have no life, I can restore there. Life is gone. I am again placing inside. Restore. Because I told, if you add the prefix re, you will get the meaning again. So store again. Understood? Amal Raj. Uh, my dear Amal Kesaji, where is? Amal Kesaji, please come on the stage. Hmm? Amal. Amal yes, Kesaji, I want to reward you. I want to meet you. Where are you, man? For so many no. I... Ah, yes. Well, please switch on your video. Name is there. There are some um, good children of mine. I can't, if I can't see, if I didn't see, I go not sleep. I, got, I don't get sleep. So, the loving parents want to see the children directly. At least the face itself, isn't it? Okay. Please come upon. And here you see, restore life. Because there was no life. Now, contradiction. Here it is a flas flaccid woman. Weak woman. Deadly weak. Therefore, here life is equal to energy. Life is equal to energy. The flaccid woman had life. But it was not active. It was not active. There are some very good children of mine sitting here. They are not studying at home. One day, Achan or father came and gave a nice slap on the cheek. A splashing sound. Four fingers on the cheek. On that day onwards, the child is okay. Energy got. Current energy got. From that moment onwards, the child began to study. Clear energy, restored, recharged, boost. Here, come to the point. To restore the flaccid woman, that means through the injection to energize, to bring the deadly woman into life. Clear now? So once the lady became um, lady began to show the signs of energy. She, he left her. Then it work. Let it work. After a nice splash on the cheek, Papa sees Sunny studying. Then there is no need of attending to him. He will study, isn't it? So you see here. Then he flung down the hypodermic syringe and worked unsparingly, continuously, without sparing a minute. Unsparingly, continuously, without losing a minute to restore the flaccid woman, to bring the lady into life, activity. After a few minutes of Feverish effort, feverish effort, hard work. The effort makes you fever. 
the effort makes you tensed effort makes you sweat feverish effort you see how many uh, translations i told you you should have vocabulary many sometimes some students i see they understand the meaning so they leave the vo- word translations if i know you can understand all the meaning but when you get certain phrases casual phrases you see these kind of casual phrases come out when you freely read literature so that you have to notice somewhere else feverish effort her heart strengthened he got the pulse he got the pulse he saw that he might safely leave her now danger zone is over now he can leave her for some time he swung around he turned around in his shirt sleeves he wore the shirt he pulled the sleeves up or down you see when we do hard work what we will do we pull the sleeves up upwards that shows our hard work when we get to relax what we will do we will release it clear now so he became relaxed when he became he felt free he swung around in his shirt sleeves hair his hair sticking to his damp bro when he was doing that uh, un sorry hard work to bring the lady into life he was under tension he was under stress he was sweating he was sweating so his hair came there that everything shows his hard work to bring the deadly woman into life then he asked where is the child my duty is over here now let me turn to the child where is the child the midwife made a frightened gesture because the midwife might have thought the child is dead and the child is thrown under the bed the child is there she was frightened she had placed it beneath the bed the newborn baby is under the bed in a flash in a flash with a great speech andrew knelt down to look at the child fishing among us the sword and newspapers below the bed fishing among the sword and sorry sword and newspapers below the bed sword and wet wet so the room is filled with the water there because washing and all these things it is there and some paper bits of paper are there and child is in the midst under the bed under the bed fishing here does not mean that by that time dr andrew went to river to fish here fishing here means searching search and try try to take here meaning this is what is called a connotation so fishing collecting taking effort to take the child from the midst of newspaper what kind of newspaper sodden wet with water he pulled out the child he took the child a boy perfectly formed he saw a boy boy child perfectly formed it has two good properly developed hands it has two properly developed legs eyes ears everything properly developed a handsome child he saw 
the limb the limb warm body was white properly formed its limb warm body was white what is the meaning warm body of the child vidur warm body of the child what does it mean eh what is the meaning aditya warm body of the child what does it mean anjo anyone can say warm body of the child rijas i forget your name ah uh, rijas warm body of the child what does it mean simple meaning i am asking what does it mean covered in blood covered in blood anyone anila it has life ah it has life it is not dead it has 98.4 degree temperature the body the child was life alive that is a meaning simple meaning i am asking the thing is that you are know the things but on the spot your answer is not coming that is a problem sometimes when we go to the examination hall not in english mathematics and physics and all these things oh i know it oh, what what i know it you are counting the leaves of the fan if it is a tiled house you will count all the tiles there hi it is not coming hi it is there on my tongue it is there hi i yesterday the morning i studied what it is what it is <laughs> we experience it this is a thing what we ha it happens in literature also we know the things but can't express for which such kind of simple vocabulary you earn more some people think that if we know tougher words like uh, dr shashi tarur ha eh? tougher words like dr shashi tarur then only we will become very uh, great literary men speakers that is extraordinary but in order to improve in order to improve this kind of simple terms you practice then what will happen that tie of the tongue will be untied you see the tie not this tie note tie of the tongue will be untied the tie the difficulty the hesitation that is felt in speaking will be removed your tongue will be very free for which you have to practice with a simple vocabulary simple that is why i am asking these kind of simple words these answers any fool can tell me the answer you are not fools that's a problem you are intelligent people you are the intelligentsia of dr raju devis international school these answers any fool can say so you are saying you are proving that you are not achut you are not <laughs> achut did not want to tell the answer we want to prove that we are not fools that is why in all the classes many are sitting mum silence but sometimes from the foolish mouth we can get knowledge so speak out in certain occasion fools will teach the intelligentsia fools will teach intelligentsia but the thing is that we do not know when the fool speaks right thing <laughs> isn't it we do not know the moment when the fool speaks right thing so you have to watch him all the time the pearl may come out from his mouth because the intelligentsia can speak always the right thing no need to wait for that 
so okay i am going far away from the lesson okay the limb from warm body we went the limb warm body was white and soft as tallow 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 means very soft same meaning soft and tallow same meaning the cord the cord umbilical cord umbilical cord the cord hastily slashed lay like a broken stem umbilical cord was cut and it was cut very hastily and it is lying there the skin was of a lovely texture the skin was of a lovely form texture here form smooth and tender everything all the words are adjectives of a newborn baby's body the head lolled lollipop isn't it uh, the head navin lollipop uh, the head lolled on the thin neck here lolled means what is the meaning lay weakly lay down lay down bend down without a power so since it is so weak the head is like this it is flung downwards lolled on the thin neck the limbs seemed boneless the limbs like without energy without strength it was lying down there can you tell a single word from this page eh? from this page can you give an adjective for this baby what kind of baby for all the whole paragraph will be written in a single word that word born page number 67 can you point out still born still born no all these adjectives should be there adul can you choose out that word from the page i gave you clue it is in the page flaccid ha eh? flaccid very good flaccid flaccid baby deadly baby without energy clear now okay still kneeling still kneeling andrew stared at the child with a haggard frown so kneeling down there he looked with a terrifying frightened eyes haggard frown frightened eyes the whiteness meant only one thing the body was white the whiteness meant only one thing aphyxia pallida and his mind unnaturally tense raised back to a case he once had seen in the samaritan samaritan hospital here samaritan means samaritan hospital so the whiteness shows only one thing that is aphyxia that is a medical term pallida that is a medical term the condition of the baby that was deadly unconscious deadly unconscious the baby one thing is sure when the body sometimes uh, your mother may ask why your uh, lips are so white blood is not there you see no blood so some uh, iron tablets will be given to you milk will be given to you blood is not there blood is not there means life is not there energy is not there you are pale clear now pale p a l e pale the baby was pale 
what is the meaning it has lost blood it has lost energy it is deadly one it is a flaccid one it is a weak one it is an unconscious baby clear now and his mind he remembered a case which happened some days ago in samaritan's hospital what was that to the treatment that had been used all on a sudden he had the correlated experience he remembered there was such a case in samaritan hospital and what did he do he remembered the treatment that was given to the patient there instantly he got the idea what should be done he got the idea what should be done instantly he was on his feet what does it mean i am going to close here instantly he was on his feet what is the meaning on his feet he was on to action ah he was on action who told and aishwarya who aishwarya yes sir very good so he took action military action the action we will see in the next class okay thank you i end the class